This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Friday, March 12th. There we go. I had to look at the calendar for a second. We're talking this week about the Congregational Covenant of Right Relations, and in particular, the declarations of intent that are part of that, the, the specific areas of concern that are pulled out in our covenant. We're talking today about accountability. So this is what the Covenant of Right Relationship says about accountability. Our search for truth and meaning is both free and responsible. The extent to which each of us claims responsibility for this covenant helps us maintain healthy relationship norms for our church. The extent to which each of us claims responsibility for this covenant helps us maintain healthy relationship norms for our church. As we practice respect and healthy boundaries, each of us must strive to hold ourselves and one another accountable with care and compassion. We will work to practice Unitarian Universalist principles in our daily lives within and outside the walls of UCL. Be prepared to participate knowledgeably and thoughtfully in church and community life. Accept responsibility for our own words and actions. Acknowledge mistakes honestly and make constructive efforts to correct them. Keep our promises to one another and the larger community. Honor and embrace our vision and mission statement. Advocate for ourselves when we need pastoral care or other support. Collaborate with the board and other leaders to create a positive climate and a sense of community. Recognize and focus on what we can do, both on the good and main build on the good and maintain hope. This is a hard piece for most churches, this question of accountability. It's a hard thing to be on the receiving end of a call for accountability. It's a hard thing to have somebody say, you've fallen short and you need to make amends. It is also a really hard thing to ask for accountability. It is a hard thing to be on the other side of that conversation telling somebody, I think you've fallen short. I am hurt by what you've done. I need you to make amends. But this is part of the work of being a church because we know that we're going to get it wrong. That's part of what a covenant is. That's part of why it's a covenant and not a code of civil law and procedure. So the question is, not if we're going to get it wrong, but what happens when we do? We ask for accountability and we accept it. That's key. That's what makes covenant work. The relationship is stronger than the, the hard feelings around and ask for accountability. I'm not going to claim that's easy. I've never once been in a serious conversation, either holding somebody accountable or being held accountable that I look back at and say, wow, that felt great. It's really hard work, but it's really hard work because it's important work and it's the work of the church. Have a great weekend. This Sunday, we're going to talk about what it means to have marked a year of the coronavirus pandemic. And we will pick back up again on Monday.